Hey guys, Dylan from the Geek Duo here, and today I'll be bringing you my reaction to Werewolf by Night. Now, this came out <coughs> while I was on holiday. It was within the first couple of days of my holiday. I didn't know it was coming out then, but <coughs> by the time I came home, well, obviously. If you've seen any of my other reactions, you'll know I was sick. And then I figured, eh, it's close to the Halloween. May as well just record this and release it on Halloween. So, that's what I'm doing. As you can tell, I'm still not 100%. I'm mostly there, but... <clears throat> My throat is doing this weird thing that you can probably hear. But I need to get this recorded, so yeah. On a dark and somber night, a secret cabal of monster hunters emerge from the shadows and gather at the foreboding Bloodstone Temple following the death of their leader. In a strange and macabre memorial to the leader's life, the attendees are thrust into a mysterious and deadly competition for a powerful relic. A hunt that will ultimately bring them face to face with a dangerous monster. Now, I do know of some of the characters that are in this. I, well, never heard of Werewolf by Night before... Well, technically before Moon Knight, because that was referenced a lot in um, the breakdowns of that show, but I've never seen him in any comics or anything. I don't really know his backstory or anything. Other than, well, he's a werewolf at night. Like, so, yeah. And I guess same can be said for the other characters I know of in this show. Well, movie, feature, whatever this is. Because I know that Elsa Bloodstone's in it. I don't know anything about her other than she's a monster hunter. And I know man things in this. I don't know anything about him other than he's got the whole nexus of all realities thing. So... Going into this mostly blind, other than, well, what I've been unable to avoid in terms of spoilers and everything, but that shouldn't, like, dampen my opinion of this, so let's get it started in 3, 2, 1, go. Hey, it worked. Like, the main things I know about this is that, um, A, it's in black and white for most of it, and B, um, most of it was practical effects. Obviously mixed with CGI and all that, but, yeah. It's made to look like an old-timey horror movie, that's why there's some intentional editing errors there's like black and white and it's practical i just gotta hope that my um subtitles are on they are in fact not Why are they up the top? Lapis as sanguine. Stone of blood.
Yeah, I'm not even going to try and pronounce nor translate any of the Latin on those walls because I don't know how to. Like, there's some words that are obvious, but... Hmm. Hmm, interesting. It's always fun when they do that. I don't think that was honest. was the plan, I'm guessing. Give or take. He's in a shipping box.
Seems like he's good. he died from getting his head chomped on by something. Well, that was weird. That's the real reason you're permitting her to play. You're hoping someone kills her. They're picking runes to see. I think that's the rune of Frey. I think it was. I don't know why that signifies first, but. Well, I was correct about the rune. So, uh, what's the point of the flaming trump? Tuba. That's it. I guess. Is it? For the greater good. It was either that or one of us. I don't know which one would have been more appropriate. I guess one of us because it was chanting, not just repeating it. So it's shadow.
as be the next person. You know, if it wasn't for the subtitles, I probably wouldn't even recognize that there's words in this tune. Well, of course, now. Even has a grammar phone now. Now again, it was an old castle. She stole your axe. What are you going to kill her with? There's something burnt on that stone. Very awkward axe. Oh, the blood ring that just. That was a little bad maneuver.
You know, I always said that <coughs> me having been spoiled on what I know um, wouldn't detract from this. Maybe if I didn't know it was man thing that they were hunting, it um would have made it more suspenseful. I thought man thing couldn't die though. Thought he was like a um swamp thing kind of deal where he just so long as life exists. And he'd just keep regenerating, come back to the swamp or whatever. Well, she looks familiar, but every time I say that, it turns out that they're not. It seemed that way. Laura Donnelly. Yep, absolutely nothing. His family, is he? I thought it was just Fred.
What makes that one so special? Though, I was going to say those bugs are poorly composited, but that's probably the point. I thought it was going to be a cache of weapons. Like, you'd think monster hunters would be buried with those, but the key to the mausoleum works as well. A month ago, Ted. Well, he obviously felt fear. You're um, obviously scared, so best don't let him touch you. Because otherwise you're going to end up like Joshua. <laughs> that a uh, lob it? Not just a stick. Just stick it in the crack. You probably should have touched it.
I mean, you could have just asked. Oh great, I'm gonna see a film clip. Should be able to squeeze through that gap. I did not know that part. Well, hmm, maybe it couldn't fit through. What the f- I don't know, never tried it. Yeah, but how many times has it not worked? What is the point of wearing a mask to walk into a room if you're just going to take the mask off again?
I know it would have ruined the whole story, but shouldn't there really be a um, sort of detection system amongst the hunters? Like, to even go into the sanctum, you need to touch the bloodstone or something? Like, if it was an actual Monster Hunter thing, they'd have something like that, but... Oh my god, it's Teen Wolf. The movie, not the TV show. Never seen the TV show. Um, well, your cage didn't work. Hmm, it's still got the face paint on, that's surprising. That doesn't normally... Then again, I guess his face didn't change that much. <coughs> you see what being fancy gets you? Oh, ripped his ear off. You tried to do fancy, do a flip and all that, and you missed your target. Well... Oh. Please tell me he's going to get crushed by that. I was really hoping one was going to get crushed by the door, but. You 
You're really trying to flail against the sword. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I mean, you could, you just have to, you wouldn't be able to combat it, you just gotta try and hook it. Yes, Elsa, go f no, go for your shotgun. Surely if there's a thing to turn them into a monster, there'd be a way to de-transform them. This is making me want to watch the Teen Wolf movies again. <laughs> the, the costume is very reminiscent of that. Do these two have a thing in the comics? I don't know. Seems what they're setting up, or at least putting the foundations for. It was a back door this whole time and you tried to go out that way. Hello. It's always funny when they can't talk yet. <laughs> I didn't even realize the old guy was still alive. Poor old guy. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, for someone who can't actually talk, Ted's very expressive. 
like you can understand the general idea yet they seem to actually be able to understand him How did you get a deck of cards? Well, they're going to get Man Thing Sushi. I knew there was going to be a comment about him turning around and saving him. Like, even if you couldn't understand it, you know, as soon as he started grunting there, he's like, I had to come save you this time. Just like how in the um, hedge, it's like, this is the last time. It's like, really? You really think you won't come save me next time? That was, that was interesting. I... It was different. <laughs> I'll give it that. It wasn't bad by any... Um, why am I letting these play? It wasn't bad or anything. It's just... Is it something I'd watch again if it wasn't for it being a, like a seasonal thing? I mean, probably when these characters are next to be in the MCU, I'll re-watch it just, just so that I remember everything that's happened. But, um, yeah, it was, a, it was good. It was different. A lot more humorous than I was expecting it to be. Even though I was more muted than normal. But that's because, as you can probably tell, the more I talk, the more I laugh, the more the coughs come. And I was trying not to get the... Anyway, um, yeah. So we now have three... From the horror side of Marvel. Well three more from the horror side of Marvel. In the MCU. Got a werewolf. Who. Apparently can't control his transformation. Like there's no. Retaining intelligence. There's no. Um, postponing transformations. There's no forcing transformations. On his behalf. So he's just basically. I'm human. Or I'm a werewolf that I can't control. Not really someone you can trust on a team, but then again, you also sort of need the muscle that a werewolf would bring on a supernatural team. Man thing wasn't as basic instinct as he normally is. Like I know a little about Man Thing in that he's um attracted to and angered by the scent of human fear, and that if he touches you while you are feeling fear, you burn up. Like what happened to Joshua and um Verusa. How they as soon as he grabbed them they stuck they got engulfed by flames and all that. Yeah, that's because they were feeling fear and he's I guess 
I think they call it caustic touch. Caustic touch man thing. Yeah, basically it's a type of acidic burning. I think it's demonic in nature, but it's in that ballpark where he'll burn you to ashes if you feel fear in his presence and doing well if he touches you while you fear fear you'll burn if you feel fear in his presence it's going to anger him most more make it more likely that he's going to touch you which would then burn you up i don't know whether he responds to favorably to his name if even if you are feeling fear like he did in this because Elsa was scared of him and then she said Ted and he just calmed down but so I don't know I'm guessing they're probably changing that so that he can work better with others but I don't know and Elsa did not at one point touch a single shotgun in this movie. Which is really disappointing. Because her main weapon, I'm pretty sure it's an axe and a shotgun. The shotgun fires um like different types of hellfire rounds, stuff like that. Let's get the actual name of it. Bloodstone. Uh, let's go with the Marvel Wiki. I think that's the wrong one. Yeah, that one. Weapons and paraphernalia. Um... Yeah, they don't have, they don't have it. They're just, um, huh, did not know that. If consumed, her blood will cure vampires of vampirism. I wonder if that's going to come into play. But yeah, no, it doesn't mention the bullets that she uses. It just says, often uses Uzis, shotguns, and handguns, sometimes thrown in a guitar case. Um, powers, according to Elsa, she had some of the blood gem power via a genetic inheritance from her father, and it was present in her blood, indicating that she didn't gain power solely via the bloodstone, but was born with at least some of her powers already. An example of this is her immunity to vampire bites. Stone grids, so superhuman strength, agility, enhanced regeneration powers. They mentioned all of those when Verusa was asking why she wanted the bloodstone. Uh, yep. Hmm. I was really hoping to get. Uh, look at the bullets that she used. Because she uses specialized demon hunting bullets. I know that. Um, Hmm. No, nothing's got it. So never mind. But yeah, they. It was a very. It was like a couple of throwaway comments. It's like, so which aspect of the bloodstone are you hoping to get? The strength. The, um. 
longevity, stuff like that. So, they did keep the law in there. It just, the law wasn't a part of, like, we got, for Werewolf by Night thing, we got none of Jack's backstory. We got none of Man-Thing's backstory. We got the briefest touch on with Elsa's story, but that was more her father's story. So there's room for these characters to be expanded upon in supplementary material or future MCU titles. It's just the only thing I can see them popping up in is more team-up stuff. And, well, do they really want to spend team-ups going into backstory? Because, well, that's not exactly how they've done things in the past. But... Anyway, this has been a, um, I do realise that this is going to come out on the day that I've already got a show coming out, and I don't like to double up my releases, but, eh, Halloween falls on a Monday, so what am I going to do? This has been the special seasonal break. I may end up doing the same thing with the, um, Guardians Christmas special. Because apparently that comes out in like a month before Christmas. I don't know why, but yeah, I may just wait for it to and release it on Christmas. I'll decide closer to that. But with that being said, I enjoyed this. I'm interested to see what they do with these characters because let's be honest, they didn't really do much. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.